Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm so excited to talk about these vans behind me. So this is the Winnebago Solus. I've got the full lineup here, which I always love when I can show you everything. We'll start with the 59 NP, which is the National Parks Edition. Then we'll go to um, the model that has the most features. You're going to get the generator, the AC, um, and the pop top. That's your 59 PX Solus. Then we've got the 59 uh, P Solus, which is going to be, we, this one actually has the deleted pop top, which is an option. So you get an AC with that when you do that delete. And then we've got the Solus Pocket, which is your entry level um, class B band for Winnebago. So a couple things about Winnebago, they are the largest class B manufacturer in the world. The Solus is the number one class B van. Uh, number two is the Travato. we'll be doing that tomorrow, and number three is the Revel. So uh, Winnebago should be really proud of that, that they are leading the industry in class B vans. Often imitated, never duplicated. Um, one of the things people will try to copy what they've got here, but it's never going to be the same. And I'll show you all those reasons why today. Now, as I go through the videos, I want to let you know that if you want to jump ahead and go to the inside of the video, I've got chapters. Um, just you know, hit the little bottom on the left-hand corner of your screen, and you can see the timestamps of the different chapters and what I walk through. So if you want to jump ahead, you can do that. Also, make sure you give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. I love to demonstrate these products for you, but I also want to sell you these products. Um, National Indoor RV Centers, I think we offer our customers the best customer service, the best experience, the best service after the sale. So let us take care of you and give me a call. So the 59 MP sits on the uh, ProMaster chassis. You have that with all of the Solus. Uh, B vans, but you do have the 2500 ProMaster chassis on the 59NP. You get the 3500 ProMaster chassis on the 59PX, and you get the 1500 ProMaster chassis on the Solus Pocket. All of them have the 280 horsepower, 3.6 liter V6 gas engine, and they have a uh, this year, new for 2023, is the nine-speed transmission, and they're all front-wheel drive. Now let's cover everything under the hood. First thing we want to say, hopefully you never need this, but if you ever need to jump your van, this is where you do it. This is your ground connection here, and then this is your positive connection there. Just above that, we've got our brake fluid, our coolant, and then as we come over here, we've got our oil dipstick, and our oil fill, and windshield wiper fluid. So starting at the top of the vehicle, we have the little black box, which is your satellite radio. Then you've got marker lights, your antenna. Just down in the nice uh, big windshield, you've got a little like triangle, half cut off triangle. That's gonna be a camera. It's going to read the street signs, um, let you know if you're speeding. Sorry, we're gonna, we're gonna let you know. <laughs> um, and also it'll detect pedestrians. So if they see a pedestrian, it detects it, it will help you actively brake for that. Then we've got the nice big windshield. This is where your trip starts. As soon as you get behind that wheel, you're gonna enjoy the view from the windshield here, our windshield wipers, and then the front hood here. And then we've got the little step ups here. If you need to clean that windshield, you can step up here and then step up there to get to that whole windshield. Here on the passenger side of the coach, I want you to notice that you've got the upgraded tire and wheel package that comes with the National Parks Edition. And you also get the cool National Park Foundation logo on your um, coach. And Winnebago actually donates to the foundation with each purchase of a National Parks Edition um, coach. So I think that's pretty cool. Then we've got our powered internally controlled um, mirrors here with our marker light on the side and blinker light. Um, again, we love the running board. This is 
uh, Winnebago takes off the running board that comes with the ProMaster chassis. They put in their own, so they extrude their own aluminum. If you want to know more about that process and know more about all the things, parts, that Winnebago manufactures for these B vans, they manufacture 75% of what comes in these vans. So they literally are a manufacturer, not a parts assembler. And this is one of the great um, examples. So I can basically stand up on that and jump. <laughs> it doesn't move, it's nice and sol solid, extra wide. We've got the Winnebago logo. You're gonna see that throughout the coach. They're really good at branding themselves. You know, when you're buying a Winnebago, you want everyone to know it, so I love that. Also on the running board, we've got the pet tether here. Um, you can, you know, tether your pets to it, or if you want to lock up bikes or something while you're away, you can easily do that there. Right above the passenger's door, we have the patio light, and you turn that in just right inside the door. Another thing I want to point out that you get with the National Parks Edition is the beautiful graphics. So you only can get this in white with these graphics they're really cool you kind of have the mountains and then you have the waypoints that are marked on it you also get some cool things on the inside on your counter too a topograph topographical map um, on your countertop so i'll show you that when we get inside so you may notice that the solas has um, smaller windows there's a reason for that winnebago goes the extra mile to buy an upgraded insulation foam they actually, when they get this uh, chassis from Ram, they take off the interior panel and then they use their CNC um, cutter to uh, cut to fit all the spaces in the door, in the wallboard, back door and ceiling so they can give you the most insulation as possible and give you that extended season use of your B-Van. Notice the beautiful interior of the National Parks Edition. So a couple things that you get with that extra package. Um, the floor mats, those are really popular, so you can just take those out, shake them off, sweep them off, hose them down, whatever you need. Um, that's really nice to keep your coach clean. Um, also, it's a little bit nicer to land on in the morning when you, when you step out of bed. Uh, so you get that. Also notice the window covering there. Um, the blackout shade has a little palm tree on it. Then you've got the graphics on the front of the refrigerator and graphics on the top of your counter. Just inside the door, you've got the shower or secondary shower hookup so you can wash off your feet, um, your pets, your kiddos before they come into the van. And then we've got two 110 outlets and the uh, furnace for your Truma. Love the cool graphics again on the refrigerator. And then what's really nice is that you can open that easy to access uh, the things inside your refrigerator from inside or outside the coach. And we've got our light switches here, so we can just pop in, turn on the lights inside, the patio light, two USB charging ports, 12 volt, and then we've got our battery disconnect right here. So this is one of my favorite features. Um, this is the Roloff screen system. So you are just going to... You know, I grew up tent camping, so every time that you get in and out of the tent, you're constantly jamming that zipper. So you can just zip this up nice and tight. Let's keep out all the flies and bugs. Now, instead of having to use that zipper every time you're going in and out of the van, you just open the door like this. So this is the roll-off system. It's got a magnet here on both sides. So as it shuts, it's just gonna come back together. Great for your pets as well. They can get in and out. And one of my favorite features. And then once you're done with it, you're just gonna zip it, unzip it, and roll it right back up. And then just snap it away. Super easy. Here are the vents for your refrigerator. We have another pet tether here. And then we have the fill for our 25 pound uh, LP tank and the bleed off and then we can the on and off switch here. Just beyond the LP tank fill, you've got your stinky slinky or sewer hose um, storage spot here. So you're um, for dumping your gray tank. So here at the back of the van, we've got our marker lights just below the center marker light, we've got our camera, rear view camera. So that's gonna give us that uh, digital picture in the rear view uh, mirror, which is really cool. One of the features I love when I'm driving these. And we have our 3,500 pound weighted hitch 
Um, we also have hookups for our trailer lights. So what can you tow? Um, 3,500 pounds, you're gonna be able to easily tow your jet skis, your four by four, uh, golf cart, you name it, you, you can take it with the Solus. Just inside, we have lots to talk about here on the National Parks Edition. Um, probably one of the biggest features that you get along with your tire and wheel package um, are these extra drawers here at the back of the um, Solus MP. So we've got these nice drawers. You're just going to press them down, pull out. So really nice. You can load those either from the door here or you can pull them out. Now these are weighted for um, 500 pounds on each um, bearing. So a thousand pounds total. You could actually step up into this and I can stand on that. I may show you that a little bit later. It's a little high step right now. Um, but you've also got these dividers so that you can make the compartment um, whatever size you need. So nice feature there. And then over here, another drawer. So this can become kind of your um, outdoor cooking area if you want, um, or preparation area, I'd say maybe better stated, because um, you've got a wash bin here. So you just push this down. Now you've got your sink. I'm gonna go ahead and take my faucet here, hook it into connection here and now I've got water for my sink you've got a little drain plug here and then when you're all done you just empty it out pop it back and set it in there believe me when I say you can store loads of gear on these trays you can see that I am standing like even jumping a little bit and they're not moving at all so again super um, hardy and when Winnebago builds something, they build it to last. So like I said, you can use this as your outdoor prep space for cooking your sink, or you can just push them back in because this is also gonna become your outdoor shower area. So inside this compartment, we've got our shower curtain. So you can just take this out. Um, you're gonna attach it to the door and then I'm gonna show you how. First, I'm gonna pull these doors together to create that, um, your shower room. Super easy. You just line up the holes there, put the little key through. Okay, so now you've got your bar there to attach the shower curtain to. And here are the tabs. So just unvelcro. I'm just going to do a couple of those so I can also show you before I'm all enclosed in my shower here. The little game pieces, that's what I, I like to call them, <laughs> with magnets. They're really cool. So you just take the corner of your shower curtain and then you create that barrier so that you're total, totally private inside here for the shower. So obviously I would just continue doing that all the way around until I was completely enclosed. Now to make this a shower, you're gonna go ahead and disconnect your connector for your sink. Just push that in, easily goes up there. And then we've got the connector for our shower here. So we're just gonna push that in. This is a standard connection, so if you have other um, hoses that you need to connect there, they should fit. You've got the hot and your cold. So your water pump, and then just below that, you've got the security light for the driver's side of the van. And then just below that, you can see all the different configurations um, for if you are dry camping um, to power fill your tank, city water connection, winterize and sanitize. So you just follow the instructions above there, super easy. Um, now, if you, there's telling you here that you need to read the owner's manual if to properly winterize your coach. One of the things that you don't have to worry about is winterizing your coach if we are lucky enough to have you as one of our storage customers. Um, 
at one of our locations. At each of our locations, we store at least 300 coaches indoors, always hooked up to 30 amp or 50 amp service, whatever the van or RV requires. So no need to winterize, that way you can use your coach year round. Um, another bonus to having all this inside the Solus is that it does protect it more um, from freezing. So it does extend um, extended season use that this is one of those things that helps that with the Solus. Got our city water connection. And then just wanted to jump above here. Got our two 110 outlets and um, our solar connections. So if you want to add additional solar to this coach, um, say that you're in a nice shaded campground like we are today, you want to get some extra solar power, you may want to um, hook up here and then walk your solar panels out to the sunshine. Now this coach does come standard with 220 watts of solar. You can add up to a total of 450 watts um, to the controller. Here to my right, we've got a nice little gear bag. So you can hang tools off that, compartment on the inside, um, area for storage behind it. And then you can go ahead and take that whole bag out if you need to. So that's really nice. Uh, Winnebago gives you tons of space for storage and I'll get more into that when I get into the inside. Also, we have the nice um, zip screen. So we're gonna you know, sleep under the stars, sort of. <laughs> um, keep all the, the bugs out and give you that nice fresh air. And then we've got the insulation here for our windows, blackout shades, and they just zip down. And then we can just, if you want the window, you can just tuck that up in here and you're good to go. Now this is a really easy blackout shade to put up. It just magnetizes to the metal of the door. So you can take it all the way off. And then when you want to put it back up, go to bed at night, it's that easy, quick and easy. Here on the driver's side of the van, we've got the plug-in for our 30 amp shore power cord. And then just below that, we've got the uh, gray waste tank um, drain here and the T-bar for that as well. And then we've got our cassette toilet. So here's the cassette toilet. Just unlock here and then push in to release the door. Then you're just gonna pull the little blue lever up here. So this is a five gallon tank here. And then you've got your little arm here that's gonna swivel so that you can dump it. Now, a couple things to talk about to make that possible um, is you've got to use this pressure, pressure release valve here to make it so that all the contents will flow out. So that's very important. Um, this actually goes in when it goes into the slot that opens up the, the port from inside the toilet there. And then this is also depressed when it's slid into its spot here to vent. And then this is the actual float that um, will let you know that this tank is full. But I would be checking it often um, if I were, you know, using the cassette toilet. And then the cool thing about this is that if you've got a little distance to travel um, to take your uh, potty there, <laughs> you can easily roll it over to the dump station. Then when you're all done doing the dirty work, you can just slide that back in and it clicks right into place. Now, one of the things that I would recommend um, using for your tank is um, from the inside, when you just, you know, put some water in your toilet and then you can put a little micro blaze. We sell it at National Indoor RV Centers and basically a, it's a microorganism that will make everything in your black tank liquid. So much easier for when you have to go and dump that tank. Just above the um, exterior light here on the driver's side of the van, we've got you can see the pop top. Really, if you don't know that this has a pop top, you wouldn't know that that is a pop top. At least I think it's very nicely disguised and just part of the van. So there's your pop top right on top. If you look down towards the end of the van, you'll see a roof access port. That's if you wanna add like a Wi-Fi extender or something. They've already got the um, hole through your roof so that you don't have to end up drilling something into your roof. So. Um, Winnebago makes that really nice and easy for you. This is a condensation uh, vent or drain. Um, since you don't have a, a vent on the top, your, your ceiling of your van because of the pop top, this is what this is for here. And then you've got your exhaust for your Truma combi system. And if you're wondering where you fill your fuel tank, 
it's right here inside this door. So this is your 24 gallon um, gasoline fuel fill right here. Now that we've finished the outside, let's go check out the inside. As I step into the Solus, one of the most impressive things obviously is the pop top. So I wanna go ahead and talk about that um, very first. First of all, right up here, there's a light so you can light up the area that you're working in. Right here is going to be the ladder. I'll pull that out once I have the pop top up and show you how that goes together. But I'm just gonna do the pop top now. So first of all, release the safety strap here on both sides. Now I'm gonna pull down on the roof, on the pop top, and then just turn this to release it. Now that's released. Now you just have to monkey with that a little bit to get that released. Go ahead and do that same thing on the other side here. So pull down, turn, release. Now you just push up. Voila, there is your bed. How cool is that? Now let's put together the ladder so that we can get up there. Thread that together, latch it. Okay, now I'm just going to take the hooks there and lock them in. And then you can go ahead and just climb right up. Now this ladder is rated for 225 pounds. So luckily I'm safe. <laughs> and then you'll see, I'm just going to hop into the top. Now what I love about this is that I can really you know, my head's touching, but I'm almost sitting up straight. So there is a lot of room here. You've got great views and screen here and screen up front. And I can totally open those as well. And a blackout shade too. So however you want to sleep up here, you want some cross breeze, you've got that. If you just want the windows open or if you want to black it all out, you can do that too. You also have a vent here too. So it could get a little hot here, depending on what time of year you're camping, you wanna make sure that you're comfortable. But this bed, I'm gonna go ahead and push back. There is plenty of room here. Then off to the side over here, we have the light switch, USB, charging ports, and 12 volt. All right, now to shut the pop top, I'm just gonna grab my handlebars here. I'm gonna pull these red tabs in so that it closes correctly and there we go. Now I'm just going to lock them back in place. So pull the latch down, lock it, tighten it up, and then it just flips. Now I can do the safety, pull down the latch, hook it, and then tighten it. Turn that. All done. I've gone ahead and swiveled the captain and co-captain's chairs around so you can see what kind of space you have. And let's call it the living room, okay? <laughs> I know that's a stretch, um, but it is really very comfortable. You've obviously got your comfy chairs, uh, captain, co-captain's chairs, and then your two seats behind the driver. And I put the table in place here so you can swivel that around. Um, if you want to work here at your laptop, you've got the screened in porch. This is a great view, a great way to work. Now, one of the things that's really cool about the Solus is that this is a, you know, you can, you can live in this, you can um, use it as your everyday vehicle because it's small enough to get around town in. Um, the Solus um, NP uh, is 19 uh, feet, nine inches long. When you go to the PX, you're gonna to go to 21 feet, and then the pocket is 17 feet. So you've got a little bit difference depending on what, if you have homeowners associations that has limitations, most of the time you can put, put this in your driveway. So it does open up a lot of um, options for you. If you wanna use this as your reg regular vehicle, you can do that, and then you've got your, you know, your house and your kitchen and your bathroom here as well. So you've got your table. This is really easy to take out just pull off the top and we've got the cool topographical um, graphics that come on the um, National Parks Foundation um, edition. So I'm just gonna put this over to the side here. There's a spot for it right behind those chairs. So I'll put this away and that just pulls out. So it's super easy. Before I put this away, I wanted to show you that you've got a little extra storage right underneath your seats here. 
So storage here and we've got a little secret compartment underneath our fancy mat here. So another storage compartment there and you can just take those mats out, lifts up. Um, so no one's going to really know that's there. Right to the side of the passenger seat, you can see easily now if the chairs turn around, your fire extinguisher. This is great to have, really nice that it's very accessible from the outside or inside of the van. Another thing I want you to check into is Protein. Fire suppression system, it's sold exclusively by National Indoor RV Centers. Um, you can totally customize it to your van. You can use it in just certain parts. Um, so give us a call and we can easily give you a quote today. I also have a video out there on Protang that will give you a lot more information as well. Right below the seat, we've got the two USB ports and the 12 volt, two 110 outlets and your furnace. And then right around the corner, we have your RV uh, safety, which is your propane detector. Now to put the tabletop away, we're just going to put it right into this track that's behind the seats. That's right up into there. And then the leg has a spot too, and it just clips right in. So love that. It's not going to rattle around while you're um, traveling. I mentioned the shades earlier, but I just wanted to go through them again. You've got the blackout shade up right now. If you want to open up that window and get some wind in here, you can easily just do that. And I like to just roll it up and then tuck it right inside of there. Or if you want, you can take that off all together. Again, it's just a magnet that holds that in place, but makes it work really nice and slick. Then we've got the South Co positive latch latches, so they're not gonna open unless you open them. Um, love those, plus they magnet to the ceiling. So you can load your area here without worry that that's gonna fall down on you while you're loading all your contents. So, nice feature. And right behind me, this is where we're storing the ladder for the pop-up and we also have the blackout shades for the front dash. Here's the control panel for the coach. So we've got our Truma system here and we are just going to click into it. This is where we would turn on the furnace if we wanted to for the coach. Click out. This is for the water heater. So we can turn that on. We've got eco mode, which is obviously gonna be, um, you know, it will give you hot water eventually, but not right when you want it hot and then boost so you can click into those and back then we've got our fan so you can turn that on uh, turn it to vent and then when you hit vent you can turn up this fan speed all the way up to 10 1 to 10 so just back out of that and then here is your timer so you can set a certain time if you wake up the same time every morning and you want to have your hot water um, ready, nice and warm for you. You can set that right here. And then this is where you set your clock settings. And then this is where you can customize your settings, um, temperature, brightness of your screen, etc. all that. This will tell you your tank level. So your LP tank and your batteries fully charged and your gray tank is two thirds full. Then we can turn on the water pump. Just below that, we've got the um, charge controller for our solar panels, let you know what kind of amps you're bringing in to the coach. This is your LP button, so you can, if you're gonna use LP for um, your furnace, your hot water, your stove, you're gonna make sure this is on. This is where you turn on your holding tank heater. Heater, so if you want those on, if it's getting cold, you would go ahead and turn that on here. This is the thermistor for the front part of the van. That's gonna communicate with the thermostat to make sure the temperature stays comfortable for you. As I step into the kitchen, again, make sure you notice the cool um, graphics on the countertop for the National Parks Edition. Then we've got the stove top um, for our LP cooktop here. And then we can just pull that right down. If we're not cooking, we can use that for prep space. Here's another prep space we're just going to unlatch that and then we can pull that out so we've got extra prep area in the kitchen and then we just lock that back right up 
two 110 outlets. Then we've got drawers, really nice drawers. And then check out all this space here. I love this space, big enough for a garbage can so it's not going to be in your walkway. And then other pots and pans, whatever you need. Now, just above those drawers, you're going to see this um, Eco Hot system. This is going to save water. Um, let's say you're dry camping and you've got limited space. Obviously, you've got 20 gallons of fresh water. You want to protect that water as best you can. So, you know that you're going to take a shower. You want that water to be instantly hot so you don't waste any water getting it warm. You're just going to go ahead and turn that to the preheat mode. That's going to drain all the water in any of your um, drains, hoses, back into the freshwater tank so that it can warm it up when you're ready to take that shower, when you're ready to, you know, put the, fill the pot with hot water, if that's what you're doing, go ahead and turn it back to normal and you'll have hot water and you didn't waste any water. Right next to it is our fresh tank um, level light. So when you light that up, you can now see into the tank and see how full it is. It's empty right now, so you can't see that level, but that's what that will do for you. Nice amount of counter space, stainless steel sink and faucet. We've got our little storage um, compartment here off to the side, two 110 outlets, so you can plug in that coffee maker. You've got your two USB charging ports and 12 volt. And then we've got a nice storage compartment above the sink. Again, that's gonna magnetize um, open so that we can fill this up without that falling down on us. We've got our Winnebago manuals here, right underneath the uh, top cabinet in the kitchen area. We just have a push button light. Really lights up that space nicely. And another nice compartment with adjustable shelf here so we can use that space however we'd like. Now right across from the kitchen, we've got our bathroom. So We've got our little um, flying W right here. You can use this as a hook if you want to put a cap on there. And we've got the light for the bathroom. Then I'm just going to, also there's a lock on the door so you can make sure you lock that shut before travel. So here's our bathroom, quite roomy for a van. Uh, we have second shower here, so we can use the outdoor shower or we can use the indoor shower. If we're not going to use it as a shower or if we're done using it as a shower, if you want to have it as a wardrobe space, great hanging bar here. Or if you want to just dry things, wash them, you know, outside and then dry them here. It's a great place for that. We've got a spot for our shampoos and soaps and then our toilet, of course, which is going to go into the cassette um, holding tank. And then we've got the drain here at the bottom. Now we also have a little compartment here. So if there's anything that we want to keep dry, we can put it right in there. And then I'm going to turn on the light for the bathroom compartment, and then you can see the snaps for your snap-in shower curtain. Another nice thing about this is that you can turn the toilet seat to give yourself a little extra space there. And then this is obviously how you flush the toilet, but turn it whatever works best. So this is my favorite part of um, the Solus. This is your Murphy bed. Uh, just lots of storage back here. I showed a little bit from uh, the outside, but we've got a compartment here that's nice and deep and actually fairly long in here. And then, of course, we can get into the rest of our, I'll call it basement storage right here. You can just lift up and access those drawers that I showed you from inside the coach as well. All right, then we've got nice drawer here look at how uh, deep that is just below that we've got the breaker box and fuse box for the coach and then we've got our storage here and we also have a new item they're giving us a jack and with the little air compressor so if you're off-roading it, if you've been dry camping, you've had some tire issues, <laughs> you need to um, you know, jack up the coach. You can do that. Also a little air compressor so you can get to where you can get a permanent fix for that tire. Then we've got great storage compartment that's nice and deep here. It's got the little net so those things aren't gonna come out. Again, nice and deep here. 
And then we've got our bed system here. So this is going to give us the cushion once we bring down our Murphy bed. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that now. So it's super easy, literally just drops down, lift up that cushion so it can meet there. Then we're just gonna go ahead and flip this cushion over. So then you've got your great bed here. This is 59 by 77. So it's really a nice size bed. Obviously you can get two full size adults on here. And then we have storage above. Again, I love that that just magnetizes up there. And let's go over here. So I pointed out the roof access from outside, right below that, two 110 outlets, two USB charging ports, and your 12 volt receptacle, and another storage compartment, nice and big and deep. And on both sides of the bed, we have the push button light. So really nice and easy to find at night. So lots of storage and then lots of space to bring gear, to bring bikes, um, kayaks, stand up paddle boards, whatever you need once you put this bed up. So now you saw how easy it was to bring down. I'm just gonna fold that cushion back up, push it up, and then you just latch it right into place there. And look at all that space for gear. Down the center of the van, we've got our carbon monoxide detector. So again, another safety feature, along with the propane detector and the fire extinguisher, our light, and then our fan, which is so important. So we can get some fresh air from the top, along with what we're bringing in from our windows. So good, better, best. If you want the best, if you want the Solus with the most features, then you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna go with the 59PX. This will give you the generator, the AC, plus the pop top. Plus you get some extra um, inches at the back of the coach. So you went from 19.9 on the uh, 59P, now you're gonna go to 21 feet on the PX. So let me show what you get in the back. So if you remember, on the 59P, your coach ends right here. You've got all this extra space here, extra gear. You've got some extra tie downs. So if you wanna put some bikes back here, you've just got that extra space with the PX. Now behind me is the 59P with the optional deleted pop top. So if you have no need for the pop top, you'd rather have an AC unit, we can, we can take care of that for you. We can order one specifically like you want, like it. Just give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers where our RV lifestyle specialists are ready and waiting to help you walk you through an order or let you know what we have coming in for stock. Behind me is the Solus Pocket. Now last year I did a full length video on the pocket on this floor plan. So I'm gonna link this here. But basically if you wanna get into the B-Van life, um, this is the most cost-effective way to get into it. So we're finally up to the cockpit of the 59NP. So let's go over everything here up front. First of all, just want to tell you a little bit about how the chair works. So this button back here, or knob, uh, turns and that's your lumbar support. This is your backrest forward, or backwards and forward. And then this can raise the height or lower the height of the chair. The bar here is going to move you forward and back. And then this yellow bar is going to allow you to rotate the captain's chair. Under your feet is the battery for the chassis. Here on the door we've got the lock and unlock button here and then our window controls and this is going to fold in our power mirrors. So if we're in a parking spot that's a little tight we'll go ahead and press this and fold that in. And this is how we adjust those external mirrors extra drink storage, and then a nice little compartment for miscellaneous items below. Right here is where you pull this back so you can uh, pop the hood. And then as we come over here, we've got our parking brake and it's automatic. It automatically puts on the parking brake and then it automatically takes it off when you put your um, foot on the accelerator. This is our battery boost button. Battery boost is super important. If you've been gone all day, somehow you come back and your coach is uh, dead, not working, you wanna go ahead and tie your house batteries to your chassis batteries, see if you can get enough power that you can then start your engine. Let your engine run again, and then it will start charging your batteries. 
here are the lights for your dash so you can turn it up or down All right obviously you're going to have your turn signals so you can flash your brights or you can push forward and just keep your brights on then you can turn your lights on and lights off here on the steering column we're going to cover the left side first so these buttons interface with the information on your dash so you've got six different um, centers for information your current trip information you can scroll through that information and your speedometer then you can go to driver assist and that will give you information while you're driving vehicle information oil temp battery voltage and your tire pressure uh, audio here and then messages and then you've got your settings here that you can customize some of the display options uh, buzzer volume things like that so you can answer a call or hang up a call bluetooth your phone to um, the van and then you can press this right here if you're connected to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You can ask for directions. You can use voice commands um, to interact with uh, the dash or horn. And then we've got our cruise control. So we can turn that on and off here. We can set it um, and then we can go faster or slower, resume and cancel. We've got our windshield wiper controls. So you can turn those on and then press in for our windshield wiper fluid. So this year, new, we have a push button start. So if you wanna to go to accessory mode, you're just gonna hold it and it will turn accessory mode on. If you wanna start your coach, you're gonna go ahead and push the pedal down, the brake down and start it. Then um, to, you've gotta make sure that your key fob is close enough that it will interact with that so that it will turn on. Um, then on your key fob, we can lock the entire coach as long as all doors are shut. We can unlock the two front doors and this will unlock the sliding door and the rear doors. To lock everything, we hit this. Unlock front, unlock back. So we have our transmission, park, reverse, neutral drive, just like in your car. And then we've got our dash over here. So now this year we have a new feature. We can use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. This will give you Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So this is your USB-C or your USB. Over here it so shows a charging battery. This is just for charging on these two outlets. So now I've got my car hooked up. So I'm going to go home and I'm gonna to go to my CarPlay right here. So that's gonna bring up apps that will are applicable that will work inside the van and then you can add to that as well um, but this is where I can give you that little demo where I'm going to say Siri please find me a Fairfield Inn I found one option Fairfield by Marriott Inn and Suites Clear Lake and Clear Lake is that the one you're looking for yes so perfect you can use the voice command Go to your maps, go to your music, make a phone call, and then we can go back to our home button and we can go to music on our radio. We can uh, scroll through the source here, radio, XM, Bluetooth, your USB, radio AM, and your CarPlay. Then we can go to the vehicle here and it's gonna get, show you where you can kind of set up your profile, display units, safety and driving assist. So let's go there. This is gonna walk you through all the safety um, items that they've added to this coach. So we have the automatic emergency braking and we can set that for our forward collision warning and you can turn that off. Only warning, warning and active braking. So we want that on. Forward collision sensitivity and near, far, medium. I'm gonna go ahead and put that at medium. Uh, traffic sign assist. So we do want it to read the traffic sign, so I'm gonna keep that on. Um, traffic sign assist warning. So do you want that to be visual, visual and chime? 
drowsy driver alert, yes I want that on, and my blind spot alert. And you can say that lights and lights and charms. So you can kind of customize those settings, those safety features to your liking. You can see that you can set up your clock and date, um, go to your cameras, So your um, backup camera active guidelines, which is nice. Again, you can just customize all these things the way that you like them. So many options there. You can go to your controls and you can do your rear view camera. Or you can turn your screen off, turn your screen on. And then just below vehicle, we've got our apps and this is vehicle related apps. Here is your volume control. Then you can mute. If you want to turn it off quickly, just hit the mute. You can turn your screen off here and then your tuner control here. Then we've got our heat and cool, our max air and our max AC, the direction of that um, airflow, AC on, uh, flow within the coach, and then you can turn off your AC and then this is your fan controls up and down. And we've got our hazard. And this is lock and unlock. And then we've got our auto traction control. I just always keep that on. Um, the only time that you would ever turn that off is say you were in a situation where you needed extra traction um, and you didn't want that uh, slowing that your wheel spin down at all, you would take that off. Typically, I always keep that on. Just below that, the cool place for your cell phone. And then we've got three-point cup holder, which is super nice. For the passenger, we've got a storage compartment here, which is nice and deep. And then we've got storage here, nice place for your cell phone. Another compartment here. And all the same controls that we had on the captain's chair. So I love the rear view mirror. It's basically a um, digital display or a camera uh, display of what's behind you and it's just clear as a bell so it's great just above the rear view camera then we've got our lights for the driver and passenger and then we can turn on the lights when the door opens or we can turn that off that feature off if we want to SOS if you've been in an accident you would hit this and then assist is going to if you need roadside assistance um, have trouble with the vehicle of some sort you can press this to connect with RAM. So let's say you've been driving all day, you're exhausted and you'd like it to get this all nice and dark so you can go to sleep during daylight. Let's show you how to do that. You can use these blackout shades. So you're just gonna throw this up into the windshield. You've got a little cutaway that goes right around your rear view mirror and then just tuck it up into pockets and secure it. There's your front shade up, and then you're gonna go ahead and grab the shades for your door. And they just magnetize right where they need to be and give you complete shade and blackout up front. You may be wondering what this strap is for. This just goes around the visor and just holds that into place. So I'm finally out on the road in the Solus super excited to drive this just because like i said this you could you can use this van as your everyday vehicle or you can use it as your vacation vehicle you name it it will work either way your remote office so you can be out in zions you know uh, working during the day and then hiking at night gives you lots of options so the great thing about the class b van life is that it's easy to drive if you can drive a car you can drive a van <laughs> so it's really easy there's some great features built into the ProMaster chassis. Um, safety features, you've got the automatic emergency braking, the traffic um, sign assist, traffic uh, sign assist warning, um, and you can make those like visual or you can make it a chime. So you can set those things, which makes it just, it gives you that reassurance while you're driving. The blind spot alert, um, lots of things to make it so that you can you know, be safe as you travel across this beautiful country. So if I, now I can turn this on or off for those of you that have um, a heavy foot. <laughs> if you go over the speed limit, you will get a warning. 
Um, but sometimes that's nice because sometimes you're you're speeding and you don't even realize it. So you will hear a little chime and let you know that you're speeding and I've got a flashing speed limit sign on my dash letting me know again that I'm over the speed limit. Nice little, you know, checks, checks and balance so in case you don't mean to be um, speeding, you can stop yourself. You also have cruise control, so I typically set my cruise control and then I can just literally, I don't have to worry about the speed limit, I can enjoy my surroundings and really that's part of the trip. It's the getting there. So really I feel like the adventure starts once you get in the driver's seat, not once you get to the destination because there's so much to see along the way. You also have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto this year. So you've got your, you put up your Google Maps and feel very secure that those are updated. Um, and then you can play your music. You've got your voice control, so you can just ask Siri for help. Um, for anything that you can ask on your phone, you can ask Siri for help here. Um, Auto-related, you know, location, if you want to find a hotel, a restaurant, all those kind of good things. Um, at a push of a button and just talk, voice commands. You don't even have to take your eyes off the road um, to do that, so that's great. One of my favorite features in this coach is the rear view mirror. So look at that, look how crystal clear the picture is. It's a camera of what my, uh, what's behind me. And again, it just makes me, it gives me peace of mind because I feel like, you know, I can see exactly what's going on behind me as if I was looking in my rear view mirror, but it's almost crisper and clearer. I always like to do the decibel reader when I'm doing my test drives. So 72.2 for the Solus. So nice and quiet, so you could easily be having a conversation with your um, co-captain and again, just literally enjoying the road. So what are you waiting for? Don't wait <laughs> any longer. That's the one thing that most of my customers are most upset with themselves about is that they didn't do it sooner. Um, so what, what are you waiting for? You've got the entry level um, pocket or you can step up or you can get all the bells and whistles in the 59PX. Um, the National Parks Edition is awesome. I love the exterior look of it and the extra features that you get with it. So give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. We'd love to help you. With our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less with National Indoor RV Centers. I'm sure you're wondering what this coach would cost you. So current MSRP is 137,311. Like I said, give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers and we'd be happy to let you know what we can sell it to you for. So if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more just like it, please hit the like and subscribe. Also go and check out my protein video on fire suppression system and our paint and body video. I hate to say it, but pretty much everyone's gonna have a boo-boo once in a while and at National Indoor RV Centers, our paint and body work is warranted for life. And then check out our AIM Club, aimclub.org. So this is where we go on basically a cruise in your coach cruise in your van. We plan all the activities, food, drink, party, instruction, everything's included and you just come and enjoy. And this is where we really get to meet our customers. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and have a wonderful day.